This video is intended for adults only. If you are not of the legal smoking age in your area, do not watch this video. We discuss products that can contain nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. I'm TJ. I'm Justin. Welcome to Vice Vlog. Uh, pretty much for the show today we're gonna start out with uh, a question I actually get asked quite a bit and that is what is it like to work in a vape shop and I'm not gonna lie I love it um, is it for everyone no I even uh, sometimes question myself like am I really doing <laughs> you know you, you got to be a people person yeah. and sometimes I, I kind of struggle with that so uh, but I would have to say, uh, pretty much, it's one of the most relaxed jobs that I've ever had in my life. The perks aren't bad. Yeah, I mean, it's got good perks. You know, I, I get five percent off of purchases, and that's a that's a lie, <laughs> for starters. Uh, your perks are actually a little better when you work at a vape shop. Uh, you get to put your hands on all the equipment, all and he does. Trust me. So it's not like oh, Why I don't not? I don't you get know. anything, but. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a cool it's a cool thing, but it yeah. is a job. So. Yeah, it, you definitely do have your responsibilities. It is mm -hmm. a job number one. No matter how yeah. much fun you can have in a vape shop, mm -hmm. it is a responsibility. Yeah. Uh, but you know, like I said, it's it's pretty chill, pretty relaxed. Um, I mean, it really gets. You get along with your boss every once in a while. Who's your boss? No, I mean, and I work at the shops too, and a lot of times you spend a lot of time out front and hanging out with customers. So, I mean, as far as that goes, it, it is fun, but you, it definitely takes a special kind of person to be able to get into that zone because you'll have hours of dead time in between. So you slip into your zone, but then you have to be able to snap back out of it and turn into that salesman and people person again. And that, that can be tricky. So, yeah, and, that, and that's a lot of what I struggle with, you know, like early in the morning, I'll get that morning rush and I'm cool. But then usually here, you know, I can't speak for every vape shop, you know, in the nation, but uh, here we kind of die down afternoon mm -hmm. uh, around the afternoon time. And uh, you kind of just getting that mellow chilled out. I don't want to do anything kind of, yeah, kind of mode. Then you get that evening hit and it's like oh god here comes more customers yeah now, you know? I, now i have to go do this right but you get used to it so i mean there's only so much netflix and chill you can watch by yourself dude don't uh, act like i don't watch you on camera the you, eye in the sky sees everything everything pretty well except for my desk <laughs> you, can't, you can't really see that but no it's um it's pretty cool to work in a vape shop. You know, like he said, I can test out just about any new anything, any new tank, any new, well, not the tanks. I have to actually buy the tanks yeah. and make them mine. It's not like I'm... Because you can't really clean those out and right. resell those. Yeah. Mods, you can throw a set of bats in and, and rock it for a little bit yeah. just to... So you, But you do have to have product knowledge when this new stuff comes in. Exactly. And, and, and that's really what I like to do is just figure out the ins and outs, how to lock it, how to turn it on, off, mm -hmm. go through the settings and all of that stuff. Because you can't sell it if you don't know exactly. it. Exactly. Well, here's this mod what does it do uh. unless you're buying a smock product uh pretty much which is one new mod every week I told you i was gonna work that in pretty much and even with the smock products it's basically just aesthetically different it's the same chipset all the way through so please stop uh smock we're good so that's pretty much what it's like to work in a vape shop why don't you tell them what it's like to actually own one ah, owning a vape shop now i tell you how it's stressful um everybody thinks just because you own the product that it's all yours and you can do with what you will but i mean ultimately you have to buy the product uh even for me it's like i can't just take a product and without purchasing it because then that counts against the store numbers which would drive your sales down it's 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 good to own one but then again it's like I was just like everybody else. I thought when I come into this business, oh, it's gonna be fun every day. It turned into a job pretty quickly, especially dealing with taxes and employees and uh, customers, uh, thousands of customers. So, Because everybody wants to talk to the owner. Everybody's like, oh, well, you're your own boss. I'm like, no, dude, <laughs> no, I have- It's not that easy. <laughs> I have a thousand bosses. Everybody right. that walks in is my boss, so. And that pressure is on you to uh, send everybody away, as I always tell these guys, send them away floating. 
Um, and it's hard to do that all the time. And definitely when you get a bad review and things like that, I mean, you have to become thick skin and not take everything so personal, which I still haven't mastered, but I try. He's working on it. I'm working. Dude, I've been doing my group therapy at least three days a week. Right. That's pretty much what it's like to own a vape shop. I mean, it is very stressful at times. Sometimes it's it's rewarding because you know you're making a difference uh, in the community and in the lives of many smokers, and that is where I get my gratification. Yeah, so that's and, and that's like. actually good points. You know, it's mm -hmm. you know I love this job. I love coming to work. Hell, I'm even here on my days off. Mm -hmm. You know, like even yesterday. Yesterday was my day off. I was here for two hours yesterday. Didn't even seem like it did. It. No, it didn't. You know, and that's another thing is sometimes time flies here, sometimes it drags on. But um, th there's even days, and he's like this too. You know, I don't even want to go to the shop. Mm -hmm. You know, all of that stuff. But you kind of get in that mindset. You know, I can help somebody change their life today. Yeah, you know? absolutely. And, and it becomes gratifying at that point. So, and you know, and my wife, she struggles with that with her job. Um, yeah. She wants to feel like she's doing something to make a difference and i have to tell her it's like you know what you are making a difference just may not be the same kind of difference that we're making or the next person i mean but you just have to it's a mindset yeah. and you once you get into that zone then it becomes easy so yeah all right next on the docket we are going to talk about tobacco 21. Mm. that's going to be nasty it's going to it's going to get bad when you lose 30 percent of your profit margins because you've lost 18 to 21 uh, that's going to hurt. It's going to hurt yeah. a lot of people, a lot of shops. It's really going to suck, you know, because you, you got to figure, you know, what we estimate it to be is roughly that 18, 19, and 20 year old crowd, you know, it's about 30% of our profits. Yeah. So. But then again, you, when you take it in a hole and look at it, what, what's going to happen when they do pass that? And the, you have to be 21. Now I do have a problem with this because I feel like if you're old enough to go fight for your nation, you should be old enough to buy a vape and make that decision on your own. Yeah. Uh, I could be wrong, uh, but I don't feel like I am. No, I mean, because once you turn 18, you're considered an adult, especially like in a court of law, Absolutely. for example. You're going to prison. You're not going to juvenile. Right. Yeah. You No no more juvie. You know, that's out yeah. of the question. You're, you're going straight to jail, prison, you know, mm. whatever. But, uh, you know, then you can get drafted. You, you know, you Absolutely. can go serve your country. You, you there's can, a lot of things you can do, but you can't. Yeah, you have to serve on jury duty. Yeah, there's that. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned to you that I hit the wrong button the last time. And I, I think I'm ineligible to serve for mental reasons. I tried to call, but nobody picked up. So yeah. I was like, I guess I'm just not eligible. But then on the flip side of that, you know, we're battling the Tobacco 21 deal and we're fighting you know like the tax hikes and everything else mm -hmm. so if you got to figure if we get hit with both at the same time That's you know we're going to lose 30 percent of our business it should be catastrophic it, yeah the, even that in and of itself like we said is going to suck but then you know you got to figure how much business are we going to lose if taxes go up 20 or 30 percent and here's my take on that um before the industry decided to bottom itself out We'll be back to the prices that we were paying previously, a little bit under. Um, now, I did get a little bit of information yesterday saying that basically with the, the HB 1444, I don't even know if that's what they're calling it now, because they had shelved it and then put it into a summer study, but then they turned around and threw it in, I believe, on an alcohol bill, so they snuck it in again. Um, but I was told by a pretty... Uh, reliable source very reliable source that basically it's either going to be nothing or it's going to be 10 percent on the e-liquid so hope to god that that's right and they leave the equipment alone the coils the cbd and all that and you know 10 percent on your e-liquid you know what we'll take it yeah it's so, not that bad compared to what it could, could have be. been 27 yeah. percent yeah on well, everything so that would be terrible all right, guys, let's uh, cut from that and segue into first impressions. This is something we're going to try to do every week, uh, just especially with newer stuff that we've got coming in. And uh, this week, I've been eyeballing this thing. We've had this for about two weeks now, and it is the smoke, smock. smock. How do you say there? I'm going to say smock, smock because I don't want to Because there's no E at the end. Yeah, I don't yeah. believe in smoke. Anyway. anyway. <laughs> uh, but it is the Mag Grip Kit. And... Uh, Personally, I don't care for Smocks products because uh, like we were joking around about in the beginning of the show, 
is that it's pretty much all the same chipset. I mean, the same screens, you know, it's just different bodies, basically. Yeah, if you can work one, you can work every one of them. Exactly. So basically, you're buying for the way, buying it for the way it looks versus the way it actually works. Yeah. Which, but with... Uh, no, go ahead. No, no, I was just going to say, I will give it up to Smock. They are probably one of the most innovative companies that are on the market. But then again, when you become that big and you just start kind of popping so many products out, they're not all good. Yeah, you're kind of flooding yourself out at that point. But I will say with this one, it can take, let me just go ahead and pop this. It can take an 18650, a 2700, and a 21700 battery. So it even comes with a little adapter, you know, for your 18650s. And it comes with the Baby V2 tank. So uh, as far as power goes, yeah, zero, pop that. zero ramp up time on this thing. So that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty instant, you know, which is something that bothers me with some of the other mods that are out there. There's like a hellacious ramp up time and all that stuff. And it's almost like you got to hit and wait. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, kind of start, you know, as you're bringing the mod up, just go ahead and hit the button, you know, while it's down here. It's and like then preheat. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, yeah, preheat. One of the things I'm really big on is how accurate it is when you're hitting that button. Um, so I actually, I sat down, kind of did an Ohm's Law calculation on it. And I know this is all going over. You know, he just wants to pick it up and vape. He doesn't care about all that. But for those of you that have been vaping for a while and you remember the Segali 150. Segali. 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 Why don't you shut up? That's for somebody that's technical. <laughs> anyway, the Sig 150 box, decent box, built like a tank, mm -hmm. but wildly inaccurate. I mean, that thing was off like it was, crazy. Yeah, you might get a <laughs> eight ohm coil. <laughs> like, hell with it, it's hitting. Right. But with this one, though, I was actually quite surprised with how close it is, you know, to what you have your wattage set on. Like, for example, it's reading this coil at 0.34 ohms, uh, kind of watched the voltage, and it kind of peaked out at 4.32 volts. And at the end of it all, you know, when you figure all that stuff out, I mean, it's hitting at 54.89 watts, uh, well, which is what the calculation comes out to, and I've got it set to 55. So it's pretty damn close. Yeah. So I'm... I'm all in all, I mean, this is probably the first smock mod in a long time that I've actually liked. Like, I would I buy one of these? Probably. I, I would. I, I like the I like the feel of it. It's like a mag, but yeah, a more kinda, ergonomically correct. Yeah, kind of good, you know, sleek feel to it. Kind of tucks down. Don't act like you've held something like that. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. But no, seriously though, I, would I buy one of these? Yes, I would. It's a good little travel mod. You know, if you don't want to take your big expensive rigs out mm -hmm. and all that stuff, or you're flying or something like that, this would be a nice little setup to take along. So. And I'm actually going to wait until he sets it on his desk, and then I'm going to buy one. So I'll actually just grab his and go, and I'll give it a run. Like he always does. That's what we do here at the Vice. Yeah. Stop attacking me. You just make it so easy. Bruh, I don't do well with bullies. Anyway... <laughs> Guys, come back next Friday. All See right. us. Yes. Every, every Friday, we're going to be dropping a new video every single Friday. So please make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and do it. Sure. Hit that subscribe button down there. You want to give something away yet? Not yet. We haven't got 150 followers. Once we get to 500, we're going to give some shit away. Boom. Mm. There we go. All right, guys. We will catch you later. Peace. Deuces. I am. My caffeine intake I've cut completely down to one cup of coffee. You piece of shit. How did I add a photo? I'm right here. I said I added a photo, dude. Facebook is on me, bro. Yeah. I think they're censoring me. Let me turn this back on. And that coil is supposed to read at a, what is it, a 0 0.34? Ah. There, there go. you go. It's 10 clicks, yeah, not five. You have to click it 800 times. So let's start this back over. <laughs> I guess we're cutting the outtakes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take one, two. That's important. No, it's not. They can leave a message. Um, where was I at? Fuck, I got to start this all over. I'm more into the accuracy and the technical aspect. Well, I'm over here like, bro, what's it look like? <laughs> <laughs> right? Does that light up blue? <laughs> oh, where did I leave off? Um, anyway. Accuracy. Ah. Oh, ooh, that was my mic. Are you dumbass? Yeah.
It happens. He told me a story back when he was in like third grade. He was the kid that would draw dicks. <laughs> was we in Catholic supposed, school. Yeah, was we not supposed to? What did you go to? What school? St. Rock. St. Rock. Yeah, that's, that explains a lot. Yep. Catholic boys. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time I thought you were Jewish. <laughs> okay. Wait, we can just... It's not funny though. Huh? We didn't do anything funny. <laughs> that's like, dude, that's 11 minutes. That's not shit. Well, I mean, we're at 17 something. So oh, okay. So what am I yeah, looking at? Yeah, that's the time. That's the current time. 